Hi, this is Ron Thurston coming to you from the Retail in America tour at NRF 2023. And I am here today with Lindsay Maza. Lindsay, it's so great to be here with you. So clearly there's a lot happening in the world of retail. So there are like disruptions like crazy, so much data coming through for retailers. So what can they expect as we sit here at NRF 2023? We have everything from economic factors. We have labor crisis, including labor shortage, but also the cost of labor increasing. Yeah. We have geopolitical crisis that's impacting our ability to secure goods. We have uh, energy crisis. Tremendous disruption, wow. but also unparalleled opportunity for us to take advantage of solving those needs for consumers. Mm. Tell us a little bit more about that. What oh, would be I like the biggest solution that we could talk about right now. We've released the Capgemini Research Institute's second annual What Matters to Today's Consumer. Okay. And I will tell you, consumers have shifted their behaviors. One of the biggest factors is that because of those industry disruptions that are happening right now, we have a, uh, a financial crisis amongst the consumer. They're truly mm. anticipating challenging economics and consumers have reduced their spending. They're reducing their spending not only on luxury items, but also on those non-discretionary spend. Household essentials groceries, mortgages, and they're saying affordability is a must. Things right. like sustainability, social justice, fair trade, these are all critically important, but they must be equally or less than priced to standard items. They wow. must be affordable for consumers. So, Lindsay, based on all of that, how are you hearing that brands are responding to meet those needs? What are they doing? This is a time of tremendous transformation for retailers right now. Both consumer products companies and retailers need to respond as part of an intelligent ecosystem. Okay. What we're going to see is cost out, but it's not the cost out of yesteryear. It's going to be a more productive use of labor, the labor that we have, more okay. automation. It's going to be a change in the way that we create products. It's going to be a transformation of how we forecast demand to have the right products in the right place. Wow. These not only bring about cost out opportunities where we reduce our business costs so that we can make products more affordable for consumers, but they also can represent sustainability benefits. When I have the right demand forecast and inventory only gets moved once, mm -hmm. there's less carbon emissions, mm -hmm. less uh, holding costs. Yeah. So I think taking those business wins, making operational strategy changes that transform mm -hmm. the way that we do business to offer consumers lower cost items that meet their ethics in the market and things that they ways that they want to live, mm -hmm. but also cost less for us and reduce the margin erosion that's out there. Mm -hmm. 2023 will be a time of transformation. Wow. What are some surprising trends that you're expecting to see? We're in a time where sustainability is top of mind. Yeah. It is something that consumers demand. We see almost half, 49% of consumers saying that they want sustainable products. Mm. The challenge that we're facing as retailers right now is nobody wants to pay more money because they're sustainable. Yeah. Consumers say that they are willing to buy sustainable products. They demand to buy sustainable products. They must be affordable at the same cost. Wow. And we are going to see some of those transformations enable that affordable sustainability for consumers. Thank you, Lindsay Maza. It was such a pleasure. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Ron Thurston coming to you from the Retail in America tour and I will see you on the road.